Welcome to technical drawing. Today we'll see this sum in isometric view. Now if you see length, front view top is given, length is 90. I'll take on right side, height and width is 40 that I'll take on left. So first I will draw box and then we'll start. Now if you see in front view there are two parts. In top view there are more than two parts. So we'll start with front view and in that also part 1 is nearer to us. See this, it is down. So we'll start with part 1. And they have given 20, so I will take 20. I'll draw line and from here also I will draw line. Then I'll extend this. So we are done with part 1. But now if you see part 1, they have a radius 20 over here. So that we will draw. So we'll go behind by 20 because see part 2 is 20 behind right so first I will I will draw the full entire face of part 2 so then it is easier for us to understand see this it will be very easy if you draw that entire face see this part 2 is 20 behind so you draw it like this entire rectangle now we need to draw radius 20. So to draw radius 20, we'll take 40, 40, we'll take 40 from here, we'll take 40 from here. And then we'll draw line. Then I will join longest diagonal. See this, I already have a midpoint here also, I will take midpoint. Join to this corner. This is point one. This is M. M. Draw one to M. Then you can draw R. See this. You, you can take one to M and you can draw R. Then from 1, you go down by how much? 20. You go down by 20. That is 1 dash. You take radius from 1 dash. Again you draw arc. So this way we are done with this quarter circle part. We are done with entire part 1. Now I need to draw part 2. See this part 2 is 20 behind. Now we need to draw this part. So I'll name this part as ABC. The distance is 35 plus 25. This is A, this is B, this is C. So A, C and B is here. You have to go down by 25. Then you join B to C. A to B. And from A you draw vertical line. It will be this way. See this, this you line, you take this behind by 20, you take point B also behind by 20. So we'll get that inclined slope. See this, you go behind by 20 and then you join. Then after that,
will draw this upper part. They've given 5 5 on both the side, and in between dis uh, distance is 20 because the radius is 10. So diameter is 20. I will take midpoint, then I'll go down by 15. See this, when I go down by 15, I'll get the center of that circle, radius 10. I can mark that point as O and I can take 10, 10, 10, 10 all the side. See this, this is O and from this center, I'll go 10 up, 10 down and I will draw 4 center method. So you'll get this rhombus, then you draw longest diagonal, same method, you'll mark point 1 and join to the opposite midpoint, which is M. This is 1, this is M, M, so you take 1 to M, 2, 3 and 4 is also there. So we'll take radius 1 to M and we'll draw arc and 3 to M. Then we'll draw the remaining line dark. So we'll get the required stuff. So the same thing is behind so we need to take these lines behind by 20. This will be dark. Over here there will be a straight line. I feel we won't be able to see circle. But still we will cross check. Because radius is 10 and the depth is 20. Still over here. You go behind by 20, that will be 1 dash. Then you take 1 to M and you draw arc. You draw arc from 1 dash. See, hardly you will be able to see. So, I hope everyone understood this sum. Thank you.